Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. On this um, video clip, we're going to talk about solving a system of equation of three variable entry equation using substitution. And in fact, I'm going to start with number 16, which is harder, in my opinion, than number 15. Uh, and you're going to see how this substitution works. In fact, it's very easy here. We can see B equals 2A minus 1. That's the substitution, it's already given to us. So you can see the substitution in the first two equations. Now we're gonna, we're gonna replace B with, the, with that new expression 2a minus one. So let's see what we get. So you see the substitution here. Now we're going to do some simplification. So as you notice, I just eliminate the parentheses here. And now we're going to combine the like terms. Okay, so we combine the like terms here with, in fact, only a's, 3a plus 2a, 5a, a plus 6a, 7a. Um, now we want to uh, simplify these two equations, and the first one adding 1, and the second one adding 3, and we get... get to these two equations and uh, yes uh, we lucky in this uh, uh, system of equation we reduce this to a system of two equation of two variable and we can use elimination by addition so yes we have a equals 17 over 6 Now we can find uh, either one, B or C, very fast. If you want to find B, go in the original one. And I end up with... Uh, B being 14 over 3. Uh, C, uh, we can go in any of those two equations right here. I will go on the first one. Okay, so we have 5 times 17 over 6, so how much A is, plus C equals 18, 
if we simplify that and we work that out, we're going to get C equal 23 over 6. So this is uh, the first example of solving a system equation using substitution. As you see, it's, it's not a short problem usually. Usually is a problem that needs to take some time, even for me. Uh, I would like you to try number 15, which in my opinion is, also, is, a, is easier than number 16. Uh, you already see z equals 2, right? So the substitution will be first in that equation. So go ahead and try pause the video clip and uh, then we'll see what answer you have. If you have this solution, x equals 8, y equals negative 4, and z equals 3, you did a wonderful job. As I said, this one is easier than number 16, an easy substitution in the second equation. That allows you to find y. And then you have y and z, uh, use substitution in the first equation, and find x. If you enjoyed this video clip, uh, don't forget to click the like button, and come back on C squared.